Hello, this is Tola from Trifle Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you an even easier way to tear cloth in Blender. I did a video on this, a quick tip on this a while ago, uh, which was uh, this one. Uh, tear cloth easily in Blender. This was just using Blender's uh, built-in uh, system. Uh, but with this add-on, it makes it a whole lot easier. To do that so now I'll leave a link uh, for you guys to download below this video and it's the same process when it comes to installing it and I'm using Blender 2.81 uh, this particular version is for 2.81 but the process and the concept is still the same for any version that you're using I'm gonna go to edit preferences install navigate to where you've downloaded onto your system I've already done that myself and I want to click on cloth and then put a check in the box there and it activates it. And this is version 4.3 uh, for Blender 2.81. Now let's get rid of this cube here. Let's delete that. And then obviously when you open it up, it's on in the uh, on the right side of your user interface in Blender, which is the tool panel, which is right here. And we're going to press Shift A to bring up the menu for the uh, add-on. And let's click on plane. I'm going to scale this up, press S. And we're going to go into edit mode. And the good thing, what I like about this add-on also is, is the fact that it's a light add-on, which means that it's not like, you know, 300 megabytes or anything like that. It's pretty small. And the reason why it is small is because it takes pre-existing tools in Blender it makes a new tool out of all those uh, tools working together, which is great. So with our uh, plane, we're going to go to edit mode by pressing tab and a W on our keyboard. Left click on subdivide from the pop up menu. And then we're going to expand this side menu and a number of cuts. We're going to click in there, left click and press 50 to increase the subdivisions because you want a good tear on the cloth and then press tab again. Now there are two modes, there's generated and there's custom and I'll showcase both of them. Uh, for generated, it automatically shows you, automatically tears the cloth for you. In custom, you can uh, draw where you want the tears to appear. So we're gonna go to generate it first with our plan selected, click on generate it. Like I said before, with this add-on, it combines all kinds of tools that are pre-existing pre -existing in Blender to form a new tool. And right now it's in cloth mode. It's add, added the modifiers here, which would be uh, a lot of them actually. Dynamic paint, particle settings, tear system, edge, detail, all that stuff. It's added all those modifiers automatically to the plan so you don't have to do that yourself. And now you would think, well, you've clicked on generate, so where is the tearing of the cloth to, in order to see where the tears are? You click on this uh, eye icon, left click on that, you can see the tears. Um, you can increase the count, the seed to make it random, uh, change the mass, air viscosity, so on and so forth. But this is just an intro, so we're not going to mess with any of these parameters. Uh, we're just going to stick with the default settings. You can bake the simulation also to save rendering time on your system. And you can see that the, <clears throat> excuse me, the, that the uh, cloth itself, the tears are jagged. So they're not really, you know, uh, simulating torn clothing. In order to fix that, to make it smooth, click on this icon, left click on that, and now it looks more like a tear. Uh, but it even goes further than that because when you tear cloth, sometimes you get a situation where you have uh, threading of the cloth, smaller pieces coming off of the cloth, which you want to simulate in that. And once again, this add-on takes care of that by clicking on this icon, left click on that. And now you have these little, I can you can call them like micro tears in between the big jagged tears, which is great. Now you have a situation now where you don't want the cloth to actually, you know, um, just collapse. You want it pretty much to just stay in place. You have that option here. And that option is right here, which is the pinning. Left click on that and it instantly takes you into edit mode. So that's why I like this add-on so much because it uses the pre-existing tools once again to 
help you uh, navigate easily through Blender and also it makes it a light add-on and also it's brought us straight into edit mode and it's given us instructions on how we can actually uh, pin parts of our clothing or the cloth. It says select the vertices you want to pin and once you've finished, this expands a little bit more, press the tab key to confirm. Let's press A to deselect everything. Let's uh, click on our move gizmo here to change our user interface. Let's scroll up. Uh, let's left click on this little corner. Move again, left click and drag on that little hand icon. Hold down shift, left click because we want to select all four corners. Left click and drag on the uh, hand icon once again. Scroll down to scroll out. Hold down shift, left click, same process. Left click and drag on the hand, hold down shift, left click, and then press tab. And that's it. We've uh, done pinning. We don't have to. We don't have to go th through the process of creating vertices and naming them for a pinning system to happen to the cloth. It's automatically done that. It's automatically turned this whole plane into a cloth uh, cloth uh, system, so to speak. It's already helped us with the jagged jagged tears and so on and so forth. The micro tears, and that's not all it does. When you click on this part of it, it has a collider to uh, your scene. And it's like a big empty, so to speak, that you can use to help with the tearing of the cloth. So we're going to reposition our scene here. Left click and drag on that hand, on, hand icon. And we're going to left click and uh, on this plus sign and it adds our collider. Now we're going to scale it up by pressing S to make it big enough to actually interact with our cloth effectively left click to confirm that and then just press play and then G and you can see it already <clears throat> starting to tear already so that's what we're looking for you can press G and then move your collider around and let's pause this so you can see what the micro tears look like you can see that that's how cloth is supposed to act when it comes to its uh, the dynamics of physics of cloth if we scroll in and reposition our window here you can see there are strands of the cloth that are just coming down. And that's this that's why this add-on is just such a phenomenal add-on to have. And it makes tearing the cloth easy and simple and direct. And if you wanted to um, simulate this or record this or animate this, all you have to do before you uh, press G to move your cloth is just uh, click on that uh, recording uh, option there. As you move the cube as I said before there's a big option here if we go left click on our cloth scroll down and just click on animate and bake and then you've got it you can see the cloth is a little bit jagged so to, to change that because it looks still looks pixelated just press W on your keyboard to shade smooth and now that your cloth is smooth and that's just a great this is just a great add-on I mean it's just I didn't really expect all this from this add-on when I downloaded it and tried it out. I was kind of pleasantly surprised by the results. But yeah, that's the the uh, generated version of it. We're going to go check out the uh, aspect of it where you can customize the tears themselves on your cloth. Now we're going to go to File and then click on New in General. Don't save this scene. I'm going to go to File again and go to open recent. I've set up a scene already that we're going to use to simulate to see how it works on a model of a shirt. Say you want to have someone, you know, get hit by an object or they're getting, you know, clawed or something by an animal. Uh, I don't know, just some kind of similar situation where their clothing is being torn. Now I've got a low poly a shirt here. Let's go ahead and look and see it's low poly. That way it doesn't slow down the recording of the video. And we're going to go through, uh, go to the add-on again, click on that, and click on custom. Have that uh, shirt selected, click on custom. Hopefully it won't take, there it is, pretty fast. And then in order to uh, actually, you know, use the drawing aspect of it in terms of drawing the tears onto the cloth, left click on the pen icon, left click on that. And now, once again, you have instructions on what you should do. It says draw your custom tearing map, left mouse button, start drawing, space to confirm and escape to exit the drawing mode. So we're going to have our pen selector here and we're going to left click and drag with our 
mouse, left click and drag again. And then we're going to press space to confirm that and then escape to exit it. And now we have our tear there. Now, if you want to see the tear, and the good thing about this is that when, whenever you simulate this, uh, when it comes to it being recorded or animated, this button, what I think it does is that it shows the tears. If you want the tears to appear from the beginning, or you don't want them to appear, it happens or it has, has them revealed in the viewport and also in the final render. I'm, I'm assuming that that's it. But if you want to see where your tears are, if you're not just so too sure where they are, just left click on the eye icon there. You can see the tear right there, but we don't, we know where it is. So we don't need to see it. We want to assume that this is a situation where the shirt has not been torn yet, but we want it to be seen as we have our uh, collider object go through it. Now it's going to be the same process. We're going to uh, cause some pinning to happen to our shirt here. So I'm going to click one on our keyboard to center our uh, shirt there. And we're going to press the pinning option there. And we're going to hold down Alt and Shift, left click, left click, left click, left click in there. Oh, Control Z, Z. Left click, I don't know if it's choosing the collar here left click on that part there there it is now let's go to the bottom also we want to pin the bottom now let's do it right here left click on that and then one again to center our scene and then press tab to exit now we have our pinning system set up and we're going to add our collider left click on that and i think our collider is it oh, it's kind of small it's at the bottom but we're going to uh Click on our move gizmo to pull this up and press S to scale it up. I think our shirt was kind of big, but that's no problem. And left click and drag on the Z axis. Let's pull it back a little bit more. And then we're going to press play on our keyboard. And then we're going to press G to move our cube around. Play. And then G. Is it working? See, is it going to there it is. Okay, yeah. And you can see that as we move, let's pause that. As we have moved our uh, collider around, now it's caused a hole to happen or to occur where we had our customized hair. And once again, this is the same process. But if you want to have like those little strands of hair or cloth, I guess, coming out, you can change it uh, in these parameters here. Just like we did with the whole uh, generated aspect of the add-on. So yeah, this is a very, very excellent add-on. It works great. It's for 2.81. I don't know if, if the uh, developer has made it for uh, 3.0 and above, but this is for 2.81 and it works great. It makes tearing cloth and blender easy, simple and fast. Because it sets up everything for you, it's all direct pretty much self-explanatory and it's just a top notch to add on and that's today's blender quick tip how to tear cloth easily using the cloth fx4 add-on and once again thank you guys who have watched the video and i hope and i hope myself that this has helped you quite a bit uh thank you guys who have subscribed in the past those of you who are subscribing now those of you who are subscribing in the future and i will see you guys on the next one all right adios